All right. Now we're doing Freight Code Camp, JavaScript algorithms and data structures, basic JavaScript, use recursion to create a countdown. So in a previous challenge, we learned how to use recursion to replace a for loop. So now we're gonna look at a more complex function that returns an array of consecutive integers, starting with one through the number passed to the function, all right? So as mentioned in the previous challenge, pardon me, uh, there will be a base case. The base case tells the recursive function when it no longer needs to call itself. It is a simple case where the return value is already known. There will be, pardon me, there will also be a recursive call which executes the original function with different arguments. If the function is written correctly, eventually the base case will be reached, okay? Uh, so for example, say we want to write a recursive function that returns an array containing the numbers one through n. This function will need to accept an argument in representing the final number. Then it will need to call itself with progressively smaller values of n until it reaches one. So we could write the function as follows. Uh, function count up, we have n right here, just like it said up there. Uh, if n is less than one, we're going to return the uh, empty array and that's for the base case, or else we'll do const count array equals count up and uh, n minus one. So this is the recursive, uh, what did it say? Recursive, it's recursive something. Where does it say? Anyway, whatever, this is the recursive part of it. Uh, and so basically this is just going to do n minus one each time until it gets to uh, n is less than one. <clears throat> Pardon me. And then we're going to do count array dot push n and then return count array. So when we do a console.log count up five, we're going to get this array of one, two, three, four, five, right? So let's, uh, this paragraph will explain it. At first, uh, it seems counterintuitive since the value n decreases, but the value in the final arrays, the array, pardon me, but the values in the final array are increasing. This happens because the push happens last. As you see right here, this happens after the recursive, recursive, whatever the thing is called. Recursive call, that's it called. Uh, this, this happens because the push happens last after the recursive call has been returned. At that point, pardon me, at the point where n is pushed into the array, count up n minus one, count up with n minus one as the argument, has already been evaluated and returned one, two, three, all the way up to n minus one, all right? So we have defined a function, called, well, they have defined a function called countdown with one parameter n. The function should use recursion to return an array containing the integers n through one based on the n parameter. If the function is called with a number less than one, the function should return an empty array. For example, calling this function with n equals five should return the array five, four, three, two, one, like that, All right? So our function must use recursion by calling itself and must not use loops of any kind. So this seems a little tricky, right? But just like the other one, we're just gonna use this one right here. So let's, uh, we'll type it out just to get a little more muscle memory to it. But uh, what we're gonna do here is just say, if n is less than one, just like that thing says over there, we'll say return, whoops, return an empty array like that, all right? Hold on. And then after that, we'll do else, like this with the uh, curly braces, We'll say const, we'll just say count, because why type array, it doesn't matter, equals count down. This is referring to this right here. And then we're doing n minus one each time until it gets to less than one right here, all right? So we're doing that first, and then after we do that, we're going to say uh, count dot, and instead of push, What's the opposite of push? We learned that two videos after push. Of course, it's unshift, right? And so we'll do unshift in. That's just going to give us the exact opposite of what we already did. And then we'll say return count. So let's prove this down here by saying uh, console.log. And then we'll say count down. And we'll say, uh, let's say, are we doing countdown? Yes, countdown 10. How about that? 
just like that. And we see 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, just like that. Seems like it's counting down. Let's run the test. Looks good and submit it. All right. Now we're on to JavaScript algorithms and data structures. And we'll see you next time. What? I mean, use recursion to create a, a range of numbers. And we'll see you next time. <laughs>